Simon Weston. He's preparing to go on tour to share his story and continue to inspire people across the country. And he's here right now. It's so good. We were just talking there, weren't we? Yeah. We were just talking about the filming you were doing for Country File. But this, My Life, My Story, I know you did it last year and it, it worked yeah. incredibly well. So when people go along, is it just you telling your story? How does What will we see? Um, well, I go on stage with my best friend, a guy called David Fitzgerald. Oh, of course, yeah. And uh, Fitz and I, we go on and, and he pretty much leads the whole thing. Right. And he tries to keep me on the straight and narrow. Oh, OK. And stops me from meandering. But it's just it's just a, a real lot of fun. We just talk about the good and the bad. Yes. Um, and that's what we did in the first sort of part of the tour. But this second phase now, we're, we're hoping to um, bring in a lot of refreshed stuff, some new sure. stuff, some other stories that people haven't heard before. Sure. Um, and we may even throw it out to question and answers so the audience may get a chance. That's a really good idea. So, uh, yeah, to, so they, can, they can ask you what, what they need to know. And, and it's not, I mean, obviously people know your story and what happened and, and that becomes a part of the, of the show. But there's a lot of laughter in there as well, Simon, isn't there? There's a lot. There's tears and there's laughter too. There's more fun than there yeah. is sadness. When you think about the sad times, uh, you've got the instance of the explosion. Yeah. And then you've the, the recovery period, which is probably the hardest part. Mm. And then after the recovery, it's rebuilding your life. I can't stop laughing. I, I have a good time. I just, I get to the point where I think this just can't get any worse. It's got to be funny from now on. <laughs> but that's a brilliant thing to be able to have, that, that yeah. sense of humour. I bet you that has got you through some really dark times. Oh, it's helped just, tremendously. Yeah, it does. And I know that um, in the army, there is a very, very good <laughs> sense of humour. That probably we can't repeat some of the things that the boys and no. girls would say to one another, but, but it gets you through. It gets you through. Yeah, I mean, the one thing about the military is that if they're rude to you, they like you. Right. If so they're the ruder they are, yeah. <laughs> the better you're doing. If you don't get a, if you don't get a rotten nick name at some point, you know, <laughs> oh. um, then you probably have just passed under the radar. Right, and that's that's not so good, that's what you want to do. Yeah. Congratulations on the CBE. Thank you. That must have been a, a fantastic moment for you. It was a, a big shock. Um, I'm not a serial honours collector. Um, you know, it's, it's 20 odd years between both the OB and the CBE. Um, and I've just carried on doing the same things I was doing before the sure. OB. So it's, uh, it, just, it just happens, these things. Other people recognise what you do, mm. um, and that's the thrill of it. But I was a lot more relaxed doing this one than I was the first one. I don't know why I was nervous. Well, it's a big deal. It's a yeah. big, big deal, and it's an amazing honour to have and very, very well deserved. I and mean, we were talking about the fact that you were filming for Country File in the rain in Wales. Yeah. <laughs> that is such a good show, though, such a great show to do. It's a very honest show. It's, Isn't it? Yeah. And it, it's, it's full family fun viewing, you know, and, and it's, it's Britain. It's about Britain, and it's yeah. about how it affects everybody, from the people who farm it and maintain our countryside to those people who enjoy the countryside, to those people even who, who abuse our countryside. Mm. So they, they talk about it in, it in its entirety and it's, um, yeah, it's a very wholesome show, but it's a great honour to be asked to go on it, you know, because um, they don't really get that many people in the public eye um, for every series they do. Mm. But I, um, I did let the side down badly. I mean, it, Wales, beautiful, first day of filming was stunning, second day, shocking. I, I've never been so wet in Wales <laughs> in all my life. It was, oh, dear. Uh, we, were, we were shooting in some very beautiful places, but you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. Oh, no, isn't that frustrating when uh. that happens? At least you got one <laughs> lovely day of sunshine, though. At least you got one day of sunshine. We did. We and, did. A, and a brilliant opportunity to go home as well and just to wallow in that beautiful scenery, uh, too. Going home to my mother's, which was only about two miles away, and, and getting her to dry my socks because they were <laughs> oh, It was so. like being 11 again. <laughs> I've been a kid. Hello, Mum. Look, I've got a little bit damp. Can you sort me out? When does the show kick off? Is it next month? Yes, in October. In yeah. October. We'll make sure that we put all the details on our website and all, yeah. the, all the dates and everything. I wish you well with it. It'd be an amazing, an incredible evening because your story is absolutely remarkable, the way that you've overcome everything in your life. It's a lot of fun. I didn't yeah. think I'd enjoy being on stage as much as I did in this regard. I can see why um, other performers just enjoy live entertainment. Yeah. Uh, it just makes all the sense once you do it, you get that feedback from the audience. Um, and we do genuinely get some fantastic response, especially when we meet people after the show. Sure, and talk um, to them, yeah. Yeah, and you sign things and photographs. I mean, the amount of photographs, well, you must be used to it, but the amount of selfies and photographs you take, um, it takes a long time. It takes yeah, a long time. But it's worth it. It is it's worth really it, very worth it. much so.